National Educator. Hello everybody, how are you doing today? I hope you are doing well and that you're happy. Welcome to our home science lesson for grade 6 learners. But if you're not in grade 6, that's okay. Keep watching, keep enjoying the show with us. My name is Wanjiko Karaoke, but you can call me Shiko. Our sign language interpreter's name is Maureen Juguna. And on my right, I have the very lovely teacher Nancy Nasa. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. It is very good to see you. Likewise. All right. We have so many things in the studio today. I am yes. wondering what we're going to learn. Maybe you can say hello and to the most Nana. of them are color pink. They are beautiful. <laughs> oh, so, so is your jacket. <laughs> hello, Lana. <laughs> Welcome to grade six home science. Today we shall be learning about food and nutrition. We'll be looking at preservation of fruits and vegetables. In our last lesson, we looked at preservation of fruits. Today, we want to look at preservation of vegetables. Oh, yeah. And for the vegetables, mm -hmm. we are going to look at kills. Right. How can we preserve kills? Kills. Yes. Sukuma wiki. Sukuma wiki. That's right. So I want us to look at the pictures again. Okay. And we still want to identify which ones are fruits and which ones are vegetables. That's right. So we start with our first picture. Mm -hmm. That is a picture of a... A watermelon. A watermelon. Mm -hmm. Is it a fruit or a vegetable? It is a fruit. It is a fruit. Mm -hmm. B? That's broccoli. Uh -huh. Is it a fruit or a vegetable? It is a vegetable. It is a vegetable. Mm -hmm. Picture C. Cabbage. It is cabbage. Yes. Is it a fruit or a vegetable? It's a vegetable. Picture D. Mm -hmm. What do you think it is? Pineapple. It's pineapple. Mm -hmm. Is it a fruit or a vegetable? It's a fruit. It's a fruit. Yes. I'm sure you're wondering, why are we asking? Is it fruit? Is it vegetable? But you see, mm -hmm. there are those that if you look at them at times, you really don't know where they belong to. That's right. So it is good always to try and identify. E. Mm -hmm. That's a gorget now. It's a gorget. Yes. Is it a fruit or a vegetable? It's a vegetable. It is a vegetable. Mm -hmm. F. F is it purple. It's purple. Mm -hmm. And it is a fruit. It is a fruit. G. Mango. And mango belongs to? It belongs to the fruit family. Yes, mm -hmm. it is a fruit. Yes. And lastly, we have something that looks a bit like... Like cabbage. Yes, it's cauliflower. Yes. yes. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And is it a fruit or a vegetable? It's a vegetable. It is a vegetable. Yes. So how can you preserve vegetables at home? Now, what I usually do with my vegetables, mm -hmm. I cut... Uh, the, can, could I have one kill? Yes, you may. I cut the stem. Then I put some water in a small container. And, and then I dip, put, them I dip them in. Then I refrigerate. Oh, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. So, which kind of method is that? Refrigeration. So, is let's it? see the ones we have here. Uh -huh. The first one we have is sand drying. The one you use, mm -hmm. yes, it is. But, will it preserve it for a longer time? No. So, when you want to preserve your vegetables for a longer period, mm -hmm. just like the way we preserve, remember, we were talking about preservation of fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. But we looked at fruits on their own. Yes, we Now did. we are looking at mm -hmm. vegetables. On How can own. we preserve them? And the first thing we are seeing there is sun drying. Sun drying. By sun drying. Yes. Just like the fruits. Yes. We can also sun dry the kale. The kale. Or the spinach. That's right. Whichever vegetable you choose to. And when I was asking you identify, is it a fruit? Is it a vegetable? Mm -hmm. It is important because if they are vegetables or if they are fruits, mm -hmm. The preservation methods are the same. Ah. So let us look at the second preservation method mm -hmm. by using machines known as dehydrators. dehydrators. We saw how one of the fruits, mm -hmm. the tangerine, yes. had been preserved using the machines 
And you even tested in our last lesson. It was very nice, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So these are still the same two methods mm -hmm. that we can use when we want to preserve also vegetables. So refrigeration is not one of them? No. Oh, okay. So just like the fruits, uh -huh. we also preserve the vegetables the same way. Okay. By using the sun and also by using the machines. machines. Now, I want you to look at that picture of sun drying kales. Mm -hmm. When you look at them, you can see they have been put on top of a it's screen a, cage. Some kind of a, yes. Yes, some it's kind a of screen cage, cage or yes. a rack. Uh -huh. Yes, a yeah. fruit rack. You uh -huh. can use that too. So when you want to preserve kales mm -hmm. using drying method, okay. you need some requirements. Okay. And the requirements you need, mm -hmm. the first thing that you need, you need a vegetable. That's right. And for our lesson, we have one. Which vegetable do we have? We have kale. We have kale. Sukuma wiki. So we say these ones are present. Mm -hmm. We put them there. Okay. The second requirement is clean water. We have clean water we right We have clean there. water. Mm -hmm. The third requirement, source of heat. We do not have a source of heat. Yes, because we are in the studio. Yes. We cannot use anything that is source of heat. Okay. But back at home, you can try with source of heat. You can use a jiko. You can use a gas cooker or uh, an electric cooker. Wonderful. We move on to the next requirement, a sufuria. Mm -hmm. We have we a sufuria here uh -huh. with us. We need a knife. Do we have a knife? We have a knife down here. Yes. And here it is. Very cute knife. Very good. Mm -hmm. The next requirement is a chopping board. We have a chopping board. There we go. Chopping board. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Put it what there. What else do we need? Whatever you're returning back is our next requirement. Right. Okay. <laughs> After chopping board. Uh -huh. No, we, have, we need salt. Okay. We need a basin. Here we go. We have... Uh, we have Our salt here. Oh, here's salt. Yes. So we need salt. A basin. A basin is here. Okay. I have one with okay. me. Look, it's like it's like magic. You just put this. <laughs> <laughs> it's because Shiko, you know, not everything can fit on our table. It's here. true. Yes. And yes. if we put everything, like now we are going to put almost everything, mm -hmm. we'll not have enough space yeah. to do our to activity. Do our activity. We need a bigger surface. Okay. So our next requirement mm -hmm. is a clean nylon sack what's a clean nylon is this, this so we are going to use this for this today foil yes Ooh, we can use it and then clean airtight containers clean uh, here they are the clean uh -huh. airtight containers and finally we need a fine mesh cage a fine mesh cage you'll allow me to put this back sure. inside here okay for now now we go to the steps okay the procedure what are we supposed to do so that we can preserve these scales? Okay. And you can see we don't have many. No, we do not have many. So what yes. is the first thing that we should do? Mm -hmm. The first thing is always clean your hands with soap and water. That's right. I believe you know why we are cleaning our hands. Because when we're handling food, we need to be clean in order to avoid germs. Yes. yes. And always our hands are not clean. And washing hands is fun anyway. <laughs> so let's wet your hands very yes. fast. Okay. Here we go. Thank you. They're wet enough. And yes. here is the Soap. hand wash. Thank you, teacher Nasa. You are very kind. Welcome. Now I am putting soap on my hands and washing Following my all hands. the steps. Yes. You can dip them inside a bit. Okay. Let's Be careful see. around electronics and water. It's not safe want to, to see have if it's going those. To come out faster. I like the fact that your jacket just mixed with everything. It yeah, matches. I wish I wore pink. <laughs> yes. It matches with everything. Now, let yeah. me tell you. What's this uh, thing? Okay. Has Oh, there it is. Water. I'm looking for the hole. Oh, there it is. Found yeah. it. Great. Now you rinse your hands. Scrubs. I was also giving you time. You know you're supposed to rinse, wash your rinse, minutes rinse. within how many seconds? Is 20 seconds. That's right. Okay. You're good? Yes. Now you're going to wipe them? Thank you. I have a feeling you're a very good mother. We'll talk about that in the <laughs> next lesson. Okay. Now, we go to step number two. Uh-huh. Clean the kales using clean water. Oh, I wiped too soon then. Okay. Clean the, the kales 
using so I'm going water. to remove again what we don't need. Yes. So we are going to use this basin mm -hmm. and we are going to clean our kills. Okay. Remember when you're cleaning them, you have to be careful that you remove any dirt that is there. Okay. So uh, am I washing just the one? We can wash around three. Okay. Wonderful. Great. So I hope so you help after at washing, home when, when you, you can you... put them. Here. Okay. So that's one. Mm -hmm. And wash, 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 wash. All right. So, great. Uh-huh. And another one. This can be very easy and uh, fun to do if you're washing under running water. That's right. No, but you know, this is running enough. So <laughs> <laughs> under a tap. <laughs> yes. uh -huh. Okay. We need only so, three. Should I take the basin down? Yeah, we okay. don't need it at the moment. We do not need another basin. So we move on to step number three. All right. May Put I borrow some water. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, you may. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. So number three, okay. put water in a sulfuria okay. and add some salt and stir. Wow. Put water in a sulfuria. We have water uh, here. Have and because salt. we don't have source of heat, uh -huh. we are using hot water. So wow. there's hot water here. So teacher brought hot water yes. because she had planned her lesson very well. <laughs> She's brilliant. So... Add some salt. Okay, I've added. So the first thing you are to do, Shiko, yes. was to put water first. Oh. So you're going to empty this okay. salt okay. back on the top, not inside. Okay. Here we go. Yes. So I put the hot water first? Yes, you put water first. Okay. Put water in a sulfuria. Mm -hmm. There it is. All of it? All of it. Okay. Now add some salt. Now I add some salt. Is this enough? Or that is many? enough. Too that much? is enough. Okay. There. And star. Mm -hmm. And star. I am starting. Ooh, it feels like Using I'm cooking. Using wooden spoon. Yes. Now we are supposed to boil the water. Uh -huh. But now for our case we've used hot water. Uh -huh. And then put the kales inside the boiling water for about one minute. I'm curious about something. Yes. So we're boiling the sukuma wiki for about one minute. For about one minute. Won't it lose the nutritional value? We are only doing it for a minute. Okay. It won't. Okay. Remember when you overboil, uh -huh. that is when it loses its nutritional value. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you sing happy birthday till the end, the one minute will be over. Awesome. So after you've done that, remove the kales from the boiling water. Mm -hmm. Remove the kale. Yeah, you can use the tongs. Oh, oh I forgot. This okay, is. because it's <laughs> hot water. Remember, this it is, is hot water. Okay. And we don't want you burning. So this one is hot just, you know, yes. but use boiling water, would you? So back at home, mm -hmm. when you're removing, please use something that will assist you to remove so that you don't dip your fingers inside the hot water. Okay. Put them in cold water for one minute. It's cold water. All right. Bring the container. Bring in the container. So we put in cold water. Now, oh, yes. I'm still going to use the tongs. They're probably still hot. Great. Hey, how many of you cook at home, though? <laughs> I would love to know that. Can you tell us about what you cook maybe on Facebook and Twitter at EduTV Kenya? Would you? Here you are. Now you can put in cold water. All right. We are done with this. Let's put in. it aside. Okay. There you go. Remember, we don't want to look messy. Mm -hmm. So as you work, you also organize your surface. That's right. Yes. Okay. So we remove the kales from the boiling water and put them in cold water for one minute. We've done that. Again, you can sing the happy birthday. Okay. Now, drain the excess water from the kales. Now they're not too hot. So this, is this me draining? This is okay, Yes, right? you're draining. Okay. Now, I want you to prepare Done. the foul paper because we don't have a nylon sack. What happened to the salt? The salt is here. I'm only clearing the surface. Okay. All right. So I'm putting away the sulfuria. So what we don't need, you put aside. Okay. What do I do with the foil paper? I want you to spread it on the table there. Uh-huh. Spread it because we want to use it. 
Wow. Remember, so we bright. are sun drying. We're sun drying. So we are going to use this as our nylon sack. But Lana, if you have a nylon sack, it is the best to use. A nylon or... sack is a gunia. Yes. Okay. So you can put it on the table mm -hmm. and then you put it under the sun. So you're going to spread to spread the your kales ham. there. Okay. Spread my kales. Uh-huh. Now we are in procedure number seven. That's yeah? right. So we have spread the kills. Now ensure uniform to ensure uniform drying. Okay. Now the problem with what we are using right now, mm -hmm. maybe we can use this cage. Okay. It will work better. We, can we, we, we transfer the, them here? Trans the all yes, of them? Yes, because like remember we want to dry yeah, you can place all them. Right. But now remember mm -hmm. we want to drain the water. Okay. So we must keep on turning. Oh, that's what we're doing. We're trying yes. to drain the water. You drain the water because okay. you want, after they have dried, mm -hmm. you pack them nicely in a container and then now keep them. Okay, You're so we're putting them. them in the gunia or the nylon sack so that they can, so that water can drain out of them. Yes. Fantastic. And so also to help you to dry them outside the sun. Okay, we put them in the sun after we put them on the nylon sack? You can do this outside. Okay. You don't need to do it in the house. Right. So we are doing it here because we are not out there where there is sun. Luckily you are. Maybe you should try it. <laughs> so we have uh -huh. arranged the, the kales. Yes. And we were right to have picked three. Mm -hmm. Now keep turning the kales to ensure uniform drying. And turning my kales. Mm -hmm. And the kales. When the kales are, are dry, turned. pack them in clean, airtight containers. Huh. These ones. But you're not going to pack them now because okay. they are They're still not wet. Dry. Yes. After the lesson, mm -hmm. please make sure you take them outside so that they can dry. Okay. And then after they are dried, mm -hmm. you store them in a cool, dry, dry place. place. Using the nice airtight containers. Yes. All right. Now tell me. Uh huh. What have you understood about today's lesson? Um, I have understood drying, drying uh, vegetables mm -hmm. in order to use them for, for the future. Mm -hmm. So we have dried kills. I'm wondering, so are the dried kills the same as the fresh ones? When of you course, the ugali? taste, the taste yeah. will not be the same. Mm -hmm. But remember, we have people who cannot access the vegetables on a daily basis. That's true. They cannot access them. Mm -hmm. So, and they need the nutritional value. So what will they do? Instead of staying without that nutrition, remember we said you need the nutrients mm -hmm. so that you can be normal, you can grow normally. Yeah? So if you don't have the kills, will you say I'm going to use something else because I don't have the kills? Uh -huh. Or I don't have the cabbage? Or I don't have the spinach? You still need the vegetables. You still need yes. them. Remember, yes. for your diet to be balanced, mm -hmm. you need all the nutrients. That's right. You need protein, Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, vitamins, vitamins mm -hmm. and minerals. And minerals. But There's a ah, lesson we learned about the minerals that we need. There iron, is iron, and iron and iodine. If yes. you missed that lesson, go to the Kenya Education Cloud. You can watch it there. Among other lessons, by the way, there's so much to see at the Kenya Education Tr Cloud. You try it. Okay? Great. So, so mm -hmm. this is nice because... It's once you've done like this, mm -hmm. you can keep it wherever you want to keep after mm -hmm. preserving. And then when you get home and you feel like eating your kales, you'll just remove where they are mm -hmm. and prepare and have a very nice I've meal. I've seen some people selling small jars of, of um, powdered vegetables yes. around. You know that, um, that, uh, that uh, plant, when you touch it, it burns you? Yeah. What do we call it? Stinging nettle? <laughs> <laughs> yes yes um, so i've seen people it's dried and then it's put in containers and they sell it because it's uh, very nutritious apparently uh they're not using it as medicine it's medicine it is medicine huh? i'm asking and uh, you know there are people who use certain things because they think it is a way of getting away from going to hospital oh. they're those who believe in herbs very so cool. they don't want to go to hospital, so uh -huh. they end up getting these things, drying them, and then crushing them, and then storing them. So you find them just leaking, and they tell you, ah, me, I can't get a flu, I can't wow. get what and what. But it is always good. If you get sick, go to the hospital. To the hospital. But this preservation mm -hmm. is very good. Not for medicine use, but for, for future use of your when you need. Yes. Look at that. So for our home task, uh -huh. 
with the help of your parent or guardian, preserve vegetables using dry method at home. We've done it here. I think we've, you've already seen that it's not that hard and it doesn't take that long. I Actually, think it was faster than the fruit one. It was? Yes. So maybe you should try it at home and then maybe take pictures and show us on Facebook and Twitter on what you did with your fruits and vegetables. Thank you so much for watching and we welcome you to watch the rest of the programs coming up. My name is Wanjiko Karaoke, but you can call me Shiko. Our sign language interpreter's name is Maureen Juguna and our lovely teacher is teacher Nancy Nasa. Nasa. It is always a pleasure to have you in studio. Likewise here. For now. It's goodbye. Bye. National Educator.